Hi all, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to bring to you guys the steps of actually installing Phoenix OS into the HP Stream 11. Uh, there are some steps involved, but it's pretty uh, simple. Okay, one of the reasons why <clears throat> I'm doing this is because um, this laptop itself running on Windows 10, it's, um, it's not performing really well because it only has 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. And that's the reason why I am actually flashing the uh, Phoenix OS into this. And ultimately, uh, to make it more usable, uh, so you still can browse the web, you can listen to music, Spotify, YouTube, and all the stuff. So, and it's running on Android 7 1.1 1 .1 now, if you look at it. So, it's been pretty good so far. So, let's get on with it. Okay, before we start, uh, what we need to do is to actually make a portable USB drive for the installation. So, um, firstly, you can actually browse to phoenixos.com and here you can actually download the ISO image uh, for, the, uh, for the installation and also Rufus. You need to create a portable USB drive from there. So, you can actually use Rufus 3.1 or 3.1 portable. For me, I choose a portable version so that I don't need to do an installation. So, it's only up to you. Uh, how you want to do it. <clears throat> then the next thing we will do is actually double click on Rufus. Um, so they will launch a program. Here we will actually, uh, we can put no for now, um, we will basically create the USB drive. As you can see, this is the USB drive. I actually previously already done the um, uh, bootable USB drive so now I basically just show you what you need to do so here it's a select the ISO image so what you to do is to select the ISO image that you need and once you have that um, the partition scheme will be GBT and uh, EFI non CSM right so that is your uh, you can show advanced property but you don't need that so ultimately once everything is done so default is FAT32 so you that will remain the same so once everything is set up <coughs> accordingly, so what you do, what you do is just push the start button. Then uh, make sure that this USB device uh, it's uh, empty one because uh, everything here will be deleted. So once you are ready, then you just click on the OK button, and they will basically start the process. Okay, once the um, boot drive, uh, boot USB drive has been created, so we are ready to actually use the USB boot drive to install Phoenix OS into the HP Stream 11. So let's just move on to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we need to do would be uh, to boot <coughs> the Stream 11 into uh, BIOS mode so that we can change the settings for us to boot from the USB uh, thumb drive. So what first thing we do is to <coughs> click on the power button then keep on pressing the escape key to ensure the boot up menu is appearing so once you get this so what we can do next is to press F10 to go to BIOS setup so once you are in BIOS setup let's just adjust a bit okay so BIOS setup so what you can do is to move to uh, system configuration then you go to boot options then uh, what you need to do is to disable uh, Secure boot, right? <clears throat> Disable secure boot, and you are more or less done now. So, uh, what you can do now is to move the boot order. You can press the F6 key to move the boot order to USB and DVD ROM drive, right? So, once you are on that, then you can just press escape and go to exit, save changes. So, now you can actually plug in the USB drive itself so that you can detect and boot from the USB. So let's just plug it in and what do we do next is to just press enter saving changes, exit saving changes, so uh, press enter. So once you have uh, done saving the changes, it should be booted up. So let's detect uh, operating system boot secure mode pending and stuff. So. Once you um, actually exit your saving on a BIOS, you might get rebooted back into Windows. So what you can do now on that end will be just to shut down the machine and power it up again. 
and when during power up startup press escape key until you reach the startup menu so when you are here what you can do next is to press on f9 for boot options boot device options then it will bring you to the uh, os boot, boot manager as well as the usb hard drive ufi send this so what you need to do now is to select the ufi uh, uh, usb drive and just press on enter key they should bring you to the uh, grub screen right so Okay, in the grub, grub screen itself, what we need to do now is to select uh, install Phoenix OS to hard disk. Uh, this due to the fact that HP Stream 11 only have 32 gig of space, so um, what we are doing now is to actually replace the Windows OS with Phoenix OS, so that it's more lightweight and um, it's easier to use and not so resource intensive to the CPU itself. So just press on enter, and we will be booted up into the uh, screen for you to configure your partition. Okay, once you are once you are in this screen, so what you need to do next is to select uh, create modify partition and press on enter. So there's a removable and hard disk. So most probably you'll just search the uh, get the hard disk itself and press enter. You want to use GPT? Select yes, enter. So this is how the current basic part partition looks like. So now in this screen itself, um, we will delete all the partitions that is available. Uh, just be reminded. When you delete it, all your data will be gone. So please make sure that you have backup of all this. So once you are sure that you are okay with it, so what we do now is to delete all the partition. So this is what you have now, right? So once you are ready, what you can do now is just go to right to actually um, <clears throat> enable this partition. Then you just press enter. Are you sure? Then you just put a yes, enter. Okay, now we are done with the uh, partition deletion. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to create a new partition. So um, for our EFI boot, so what, what we do now is press enter. And our first sector can be default. So we need to create 100 meg for this. So so the number should be 204800. And we press enter as well. Okay, and for the GUID itself, um, for EFI partition is uh, EF. F00 zero, zero, then we press enter okay as for the name itself um, we can just leave it for now we will just press enter for it so now you should see your EFI space is there okay the next step is to create the OS partition so we'll move down to the free space and we just press enter and for this one most of the things that we're gonna do is default so we will just press enter all the way As you can see you should be able to see your tree file system there so now is to click on uh, press enter on the right to actually write in the partition so you just press enter to write the partition and just put yes and continue it will take a while so once it's done so now we can do what you do is uh, do a quit and press enter so it should brings you back to the screen where you can uh, select where to install the Linux, uh, Phoenix OS Okay, now, <coughs> now is the um, <coughs> time when we are going to install the uh, OS itself. Um, so basically what we are looking at now is we are going to actually be installing into the second one, which is P2, uh, for the OS, uh, Phoenix OS itself. So what you can do now is to press enter on this. Do you want the format? So we can put this as ext4. Okay, here we will basically select your ext4 for the uh, file system format. So you just need to press enter here. And we'll lose the da, 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 da. so just press a yes then there'll be formatting partition um if you want to install grub we'll click on yes then we'll select the first one for the grub partition new format we'll put a yes below the grub put a yes why not all right so so now they'll be writing it so you just need to wait for this to complete it'll take a while So once you have reached this screen, what you need to do is to select Reboot and press OK. Then after that, remove the USB drive from your system itself. Then you should be greeted with the uh, boot screen, the grub boot screen for the Phoenix OS. You press on OK and pull out your USB drive. So 
once the uh, thing has completed, you should see the Phoenix OS screen. It more or less says that you are ready. So the only issue now is the uh, language. So ultimately, let me find the mouse cursor. Okay, there is it, the cursor. So here, you can actually switch the language to English. And just click on Next. Uh, accept. Then connect to Network. So well, let's just connect. Uh, just ignore the pop up. Just go next. Uh, it will be done. So, this only happens when you actually key in the keyboard. So, let me key in the uh, password itself. Okay, once you have the password connected, just put, click on connect. Then they should be connecting to your Wi Fi network. Then, once you're done connected, then you can click on. create an account or you can just do a finish so once you have done finish so here we are put it into Phoenix OS okay so once you are in Phoenix OS you can see I mean there are like um, stuff that you can do there are some advertisements and that stuff so you can put in SD card and there are some things which is in and drain um, I, there might be things that you can remove but uh, we'll see how that goes I mean this is up for you to explore on that end so as you can see now here's the setting screen and um, the root permissions and stuff right yeah you can just play around with the um, with the OS itself and see whether that helps so basically now the internal storage is 3.03 gig use and we have 29 gig of storage SD card okay folks so we are done with the um, phoenix os installation so if you have any questions regarding this you can just leave me a message down below and uh, leave a comment down below and i'll try to answer you as much as i can and i personally think that stream 11 is a very low uh, processing power laptop so uh, it should run smoother using phoenix os and windows so uh, i'll use it for a while and if you guys have any question just let me know um, I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you for watching and bye.